Good morning. Welcome to this strong and to the 2014 National Toy Hall of Fame induction ceremony. I'm Chris Bench, Vice President for Collections. We're delighted to have an audience today that includes members of the museum's Board of Trustees, members of the Toy Hall of Fame's National Selection Committee, museum members, and representatives of the media. For those of you who are using social media throughout the induction, we are using the hashtag Toy Hall, and the museum's Twitter handle is at Museum of Play. Also with us today are Gary Smith and Dan Agnew from the Pirate Toy Fund. The Strong is proud to serve as a collection site for toys contributed to the Pirate Toy Fund, the only local organization that provides toys year-round to children who are hospitalized or have experienced disasters such as fire or flood. And we encourage guests who are coming to visit the museum this weekend for special National Toy Hall of Fame activities and throughout the holiday season to bring a new unwrapped toy for the Pirate Toy Fund. Today's induction is a lead-in to a weekend full of family fun that celebrates the Hall of Fame toys around us as well as the new ones that we're introducing today. We invite all of you to join us for the activities on Saturday and Sunday, November 8 and 9. Everything we do at The Strong is founded on the understanding that play is an essential activity, critical to learning and human development. Play is also a window into understanding American culture. And we're privileged here in Rochester to hold, care for, and interpret the world's largest and most comprehensive collection of toys, dolls, games, electronic games, and other artifacts related to play. Through the National Toy Hall of Fame, the Strong recognizes outstanding toys that have engaged multiple generations over time inspiring them to learn, create, and discover through play. This year, 12 toys meeting the basic criteria were considered by the National Selection Committee. Those toys are American Girl Dolls, Bubbles, Fisher Price Little People, Hess Toy Trucks, Little Green Army Men, My Little Pony, Operation Skill Game, Paper Airplane, Pots and Pans, Rubik's Cube, Slip and Slide, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In a moment, curators Nick Ricketts and Patricia Hogan will announce the 2014 National Toy Hall of Fame inductees that will join the 53 toys already enshrined. <coughs> Following the announcement, Nick, Patricia, and I will be available for questions and interviews. Any members of the media who don't already have a press kit about the newly inducted toys will find copies on the press table. And now for the 2014 National Toy Hall of Fame induction, <coughs> let me turn the podium over to my colleague, Patricia Hogan. Good morning. The first toy to be inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame today has been around since the 1930s. Most often sold in quantities in big bags or buckets, these toys cost just pennies apiece. Usually they come in one uniform color, and though some might find one color drab, the monotone doesn't inhibit play at all. Though these toys are only a few inches tall, their numbers make them mighty. Today's first inductee works best on tabletops, or outside in sandboxes, or on short grass, dirt, or asphalt. But they are also at ease, melting under a magnifying glass in the sun, <laughs> or catapulting through the air in rapid action deployments. These first toys are all about pretend play, about kids using their imagination to create narratives, to work out tactics, and to plot strategies. These toys help children learn how to negotiate with playmates about the rules of engagement and how to navigate the action on the play field. These little toys have had a big impact on the silver screen, appearing with special force 
in three movies of the Toy Story franchise. Today's first inductee has also inspired some 25 video games designed by 3DO and Global Star. Over the years, these toys have remained popular because they are lightweight, simple to transport in pockets or pails, fun to blow up, easy to replace, and most of all because they inspire open-ended play. Attention please! The first toys to infiltrate the National Toy Hall of Fame today are Little Green Army Men. Thank you, Patricia. The next inductee is a puzzle which has reputedly been attempted by one in every seven people on Earth. It has been called amazing, magical, devious, and evil. <laughs> Call it what you will. Most Americans recognize it, and many have tried navigating through its many twists and turns. Developed in 1974 by a Hungarian puzzle lover, this colorful puzzle languished behind the Iron Curtain of Communism until 1980, when the ideal toy company purchased the rights to produce and market it in the United States. The toy sold more than 100 million units between 1980 and 1982, and became the fastest selling toy in history. At one time, books describing ways to solve the puzzle held first, second, and third place on the New York Times bestseller list of paperbacks. Fun and simple enough for youngsters to enjoy and to solve, this little puzzle is also complex enough to twist some mathematicians into knots. Official associations in more than 50 countries manage competitive events to see how quickly people of all ages can wind their way through this puzzle. The current speed champ, Mats Valk of the Netherlands, com completed one in 5.55 seconds. There are also official trials for solving it blindfolded, one-handed, underwater with one breath, and with one's feet. Now it's time to reveal this inductee. Can I get a little help? <laughs> little Green Army Men, reporting for duty. The second in the for the 2014 National Toy Hall of Fame is Rubik's Cube. couldn't be here in person, we're delighted to hear from the Rubik's Cube inventor, Erno Rubik. I'm really happy when I heard uh, that the cube became part of this beautiful collection of the Hall of Fame, uh, together with chess and balls and many other uh, wonderful inventions all around, from all around the world. I am really satisfied that I was able to share my enjoyment and happiness in connection with discoveries of laws of nature and geometry with millions of kids all around the world. Thanks, 
Nick. Little Green Army Men, Rubik's Cube are well deserving of induction into the National Toy Hall of Fame. But this year, there's a lucky third toy that earns the same honor. This toy has the longest history of any of this year's finalists, stretching back to the 16th century. What happened more than 400 years ago was a playful discovery that something very practical also be a source of fun. Through the ensuing centuries, this toy blew past other competing playthings, persisting in popularity while other toys popped and fizzled. It moved from a make-it-yourself toy to a manufactured version in the past century, becoming a staple of variety in drugstores, where it was easily available to almost anyone. For just a small price, you can still purchase this toy and try your hand at what seems almost like magic. Take a wand, take an everyday looking liquid, and with nothing more than a breath, you bring something new and enchanting to life. <coughs> it floats, it shimmers, and it lifts the spirits of children and adults alike. Our third and final 2014 inductee to the National Toy Hall of Fame is Bubbles. <laughs> inductees are Little Green Army Men, Rubik's Cube, and Bubbles. We'd like to thank Erno Rubik for participating in today's induction, as well as Major Jeffrey S. Milligan of the 21st Emergency Response Battalion of the New York Guard, who served as costume consultant for the induction of Little Green Army Men. Special thanks to our talented troops of, from the Rochester City Ballet and Bubble Man Doug Ruja. Also, thank you to Holly Real, Senior Vice President of Rubik's Brand USA, Seven Towns Limited, for being here today. In a couple minutes, we'll be unveiling our cases displaying this year's inductees. But before we do that, let me remind you that we have a whole weekend of family fun planned for Saturday and Sunday, celebrating all 56 toys in the National Toy Hall of Fame. And, of course, we'd love to have you all join us. Now, curators Nick Ricketts, Patricia Hogan, and I will be available for questions and interviews, and our talented cast will be available for photography, showing off this year's inductees. <coughs> Thank you all for joining us this morning, and have a great day.